This video is intended for maritime students and for those who are studying stability calculations. In this problem, we will calculate the ship's final vertical center of gravity, kg, final metacentric height, gm, and angle of list, considering multiple weights being loaded, discharged, and shifted. We will follow the given procedures below. Let's have an overview of the given problem. Assuming this is the ship's transverse section, she is initially upright, and in stable condition, where the ship's center of gravity is below metacenter. Her initial displacement is 10,700 tons, with an initial kg of 8.74 meters. The abbreviations kg, with small letter g, and vcg, both represent the vertical distance from the keel to the center of gravity of the individual weights being loaded, discharged, or shifted. Kg where G is in capital letters, denotes the ship's overall vertical center of gravity. Be aware that some textbooks used Kg where G is in lowercase, to represent the center of gravity of a specific weight, which can be confused with the ship's Kg, where both are in the uppercase. It's important to distinguish between these abbreviations to avoid confusion. CL represents the ship's centerline. Now we have 285 tons of cargo being loaded in the lower hold, assuming the weight center of gravity is at this point. The weight's kg is 1.20 meters and position 6.9 meters port of the centerline, assuming this is port side and this is starboard side. Always measure from the weight center of gravity. Next, load 320 tons of cargo into the twin deck, at a vertical center of gravity of 6.40 meters, position 5.8 meters starboard of the centerline. Next, discharge 65 tons of cargo from the lower hold, at kg 1.10 meters, and 4.3 meters port of the centerline. Another discharged weight, 480 tons from the main deck, at kg, 13.30 meters, and 5.5 meters to starboard of the centerline. Next, shifted 25 tons of weight from the tween deck, at kg, 6.10 meters, and 2.2 meters, port of the centerline, to the lower hold, at kg, 1 meter, and 2.1 meters, starboard of the centerline. So these are the cargoes that have been worked out in this scenario. Let's proceed to procedure number one. To determine the moments about the keel involving multiple weights, we will use a tabular approach. In the second row, enter the ship's initial displacement in the second column, and her initial kg in the third column. To determine the moment, the formula is, weight times distance. So multiplying the ship's initial displacement, by her initial kg, the vertical moment is, 93,518 ton meters. I emphasize vertical moment since the distance we used is the vertical distance from the keel to the center of gravity. Next, enter the loaded and discharged weights in the second column, and their respective kg in the third column. Multiply each weight by its corresponding kg, to determine the vertical moment for each entry. For the discharged weight, the sign is negative as these will be subtracted later to find the ship's final displacement. Similarly, the vertical moments of discharged weights will also have a negative sign as these will be subtracted to determine the total vertical moment. Next is for the shifted weight. For every single weight being shifted, we have two entries. Since we removed the weight from its initial position, it is considered a discharged weight, so it has a negative sign. Next multiply its weight by its kg, to determine the vertical moment, and it is a negative moment since it is considered a discharged weight. Once the weight is already transferred to its final position, it is considered a loaded weight, so it has a positive sign. Based on its final position, Multiply the weight by its kg, the sign is positive since it is considered a loaded weight. Next, 
Add all the loaded weights to the ship's initial displacement, and subtract all the discharged weights to determine the ship's final displacement, which is 10,760 tons. Do the same for the vertical moments, add all the positive, and subtract all the negative moments, to determine the total vertical moments, which is 89,325 ton meters. This value is now the sum of moment about the keel, or the total vertical moment. To calculate the final kg, it is equal to 89,325 ton meters, divided by 10,760 tons. The final kg is 8.302 meters. If this is the ship's initial condition, where the initial kg is 8.74 meters. After working out the following cargo on board, the vertical movement of ship's center of gravity is going downward, due to the decrease in the ship's final kg which is 8.302 meters, resulting to an increase in the ship's metacentric height, making the ship more stable. We have already calculated the final kg, we can now proceed to procedure 2, calculate the final gm. The km to be used is the km for the final displacement, which is 10.24 meters. We can find the km values in the ship's hydrostatic table. So final km, minus, final kg, the final gm is 1.938 meters. Checking at the ship's transverse section, the final km is 10.24 meters. By subtracting the final kg, the gm is positive 1.938 meters. The ship's condition is stable because the center of gravity is below the metacenter. In procedure 3, to calculate the moments about the centerline, or the net listing moments, we will still use the tabular approach. Compared to the previous table, the first and second columns have the same inputs as this table. But on the third column, this time we will use the distance of weight from the centerline. In the fourth column, we will split this into port and starboard moments. Let's start with the distance off the centerline. For the loaded weight of 285 tons, the distance off the centerline is 6.9 meters to port. Next, 5.8 meters to starboard. Then, 4.3 meters to port. Next, 5.5 meters to starboard. For the shifted weight, we have two entries. The discharge, which corresponds to its initial position, 2.2 meters port of the centerline, and the load, which corresponds to its final position, 2.1 meters starboard of the centerline. When calculating moments for loaded and discharged weights, it's essential to consider the direction of the moment relative to the ship's centerline. For the loaded weights, the moment acts toward the side where the weight is added, while for the discharged weights, the moment acts toward the side opposite to where the weight is removed. Since the ship is initially upright, there is no existing moment. For this weight, which is loaded port of the centerline, the moment acts on the port. And for this weight, it is loaded starboard of the centerline, the moment acts on the starboard. Now remember that for the discharged weight, the moment acts on the opposite side to where the weight is removed. For this weight which is removed, 4.3 port of the centerline, the moments will act on the opposite side, which is starboard. For this discharged weight, where it is removed starboard of the centerline, the moments will act on the port. For the shifted weight, when it is removed from its initial position, port of the centerline, the moment acts on the starboard, and when it is placed in its final position, starboard of the centerline, which is considered a loaded weight, the moment acts also on starboard. Then, calculate the sum of all moments for each side. Now we can see that the port moments are greater, meaning the ship is listing to port. 
To determine the angle of list, we will first calculate the sum of moments about the center line, or the net listing moments. Just subtract the lesser from the greater moments. The net listing moments is 2,363.50 ton meters. Next, let's calculate the final distance of the ship's center of gravity, G, from the center line, known as GGH. So net listing moments, divided by, final displacement, the GGH is, 0 0.220 meter. We can now proceed to procedure 4, calculate the angle of list, which is our last and final step. So 0 0.220 meter, divided by, 1.938 meters, is equal to tangent angle if list, 0 0.11351909918. To determine the angle of list, in your scientific calculator, press inverse, tangent, and equal sign, or shift, tangent, and equal sign. You'll get an angle of list of 6.5 degrees to port, since our net listing moment is port. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.